Yeah, we're at the track covering the sport of kings. Coming up in this week's show. A magnificent weekend for title-chasing jockey Radish Roman, including a sweep of the cup and trophy races at Jamaica's Caymanus Park. Checking in on the Remington Green Stakes in Oklahoma, won by the Brazil-bred gelding Lorenz, conditioned by Barbadian trainer Sappy Joseph Jr. Rocco Bowen in stakes winning form at Thistledown in Ohio, the Barbadian closing in on 100 wins for the season. A third Jockeys Championship title for TNT's Pravin Battery, this latest at Canada's Assiniboia Downs. And another Ran Moore Aidan O'Brien headline store from Newmarket in England with the impressive two-year-old filly, Lake Victoria. Plus the usual update on the number of Caribbean wins on the North American continent. We're kicking things off in Jamaica. Where Saturday's main event at Caymanus Park was a run-run trophy with a 10-horse field going six furlongs. The even money favorite here, Impressive Force, about to close on the leaders, having raced toward the back of the field for most of the trip. She's a god gift, has them off the legs at the moment at the top of the lane. Commander Z now trying to reel her in. Teflon Don racing out wide. Queen of Soul kicking in down against the rail along with Riches to Rags. It's She's a god gift battling to hold the advantage. And here is Impressive Force now launching a charge on the outside. And Impressive Force now rushes through and grabs the lead. She's a god gift. Looks beaten along with the rest. Impressive Force, impressive in victory. Three for Radish Roman. Quickening resolutely down the home stretch. This U.S. bred three-year-old colt much the best on the Radish Roman's confident ride. The ACK Stables Impressive Force with two wins now from two starts at Caymanus Park for the maestro, trainer Philip Fiani, and one of three wins on the afternoon for Roman. Impressive force lands a run-run trophy by widening four lengths as the even-money favorite, Riches to Rags, and the 96-1 outsider, Queen of Soul, closest at the finish. The winning time for six furlongs, one minute, 14.10 seconds. Radish Roman was in search of more success on Sunday's second day of the two-day weekend schedule. Here in the seven and a half furlong typewriter cup, he is in the purple cap aboard the 2-1 bet, Sistrin Treasure, and about to engage rival Tevin Foster with a favorite money miser in a stirring duel to the finish. They're coming into the lane, Laban stepping just off the rail. I realize in between horses and press conference down on the outside on the rail, that's money miser now asked to close. Sistrin Treasure looking for room in between horses. Five spread across the track. Press conference is racing on the extreme outside. Over on the rail, that's a money miser and Sistrin Treasure. It's money Miser and Sistrin Treasure in a battle royale as they're inside the final 16th. This is a typewriter cup and Sistrin Treasure will prevail in the end over Money Miser. A top ride by Roman edging Foster in a combat between the nation's leading riders that excited the fans. Roman following the previous Saturday's five-timer now with nine wins in the last three race days and shares the jockey's lead on 99 wins with Foster heading into the last three months of the season. The success farm sister and treasure for trainer Gary Sabrati wins the typewriter cup with Roman aboard at 2-1 to one odds. The four-year-old filly edging the favorite money miser by a neck, clocking 132.99 for the 7.5 furlong trip while scoring her first win this year from 10 starts. To Remington Partner in Oklahoma, where Florida's top racehorse trainer Sappy Joseph Jr. collected his 28th stakes win of the current season. The Barbadian is number six on the trainers list in all of North America so far for 2024. Joseph's Brazil bred Lorenz was a 5-1 to one bet in this Remington Green Stakes over nine furlongs on turf. The six-year-old gelding raced off the pace early, but seen here on the jockey Drayden Van Dyke in the white silks and yellow sleeves, making good ground, coming off the final bend five wide. Race on, it's Ocelot to the outside, going for the front of Unload, and Unload backs up. Ocelot has the advantage, trying to work through traffic for it to Ventura, and now poured it on outside Spoiler, and Lorenz, Lorenz didn't want to do anything except get to the gate and run, and Lorenz is on the lead, and Lorenz is going to go on and win the Remington Green by a length and a half. Drayden Van Dyke on his sixth stakes win this year as Lorenz lifts horses' earnings for Savage Joseph this season to over $13.35 million. Only leader Steve Asmussen, Chad Brown, Brad Cox, Todd Pletcher, and Mark Cassie ahead of him on the North American trainers list so far this year. Lorenz wins the $75,000 Remington Green by a length and a half at 5-1 to one odds, covering the 9 furlong turf trip in 151.94 for his second win in seven starts this year for Savage Joseph, who also had three weekend wins at Gulfstream Park, where he is champion and leading trainer. Still in the USA and keeping the Barbados theme, jockey Rocco Bowen had an injury scare with a fall in Thursday's eighth race at Thistledown, just half an hour after he had scored in the $75,000 Catlawn Stakes. 
Bowen classy with the front running win aboard the favorite villain here in the middle fighting off sustained challenges from the 5 to 2 bet Kelleher and the 9 to 5 shot that's the way. It's villain, villain still strong. Villain has something left for Kelleher, but Kelleher is game on the outside, and that's the way he's a close third. Villain a final 16th to go. Kelleher still second. That's the way getting closer from third. Villain in front, and villain's going all the way. Villain wins the cat launch. The perfect gate to wire ride from Boyan as the three year old gelding lands four wins now in six starts in 2024. Boyan suffered minor injuries and a fall later on the card. Unfortunately, his injured mount, It's About Time in the 8th race, was euthanized. Bowen's jockey's title bid very solid with a week remaining in the season. He's the Thistledown leader on 77 wins, two ahead of Luis Rivera, who is on an injury layoff. Villain wins the cat launch by three quarters of a length as the 8-5 to five favorite for trainer Tim Ham and clocks 147-02 in victory over 8.5 furlongs for one of three wins in the past week at the Ohio racetrack for Boyne, who has 95 wins overall so far this year. The 2024 Assiniboia Down season in Canada has closed with Trinidad and Tobago's Pravin Badri for the second time in his career, emerging champion jockey ahead of the Barbadian Demario Bino. Badri, who was a 2015 TNT champion jockey and also rode in Jamaica, gets his second Assiniboia Downs title, having been champion previously in 2018. Finishing this season with 53 wins, and the 34-year-old was also the top money spinner at over 594,000 Canadian dollars in Mount's earnings. For the second year in a row, Barbadian Demaria Bino with 43 wins is the runner-up, with dethroned champion Antonio Whitehall third. TNT's Ronald Alley and Barbadian Rashad Knights tied for fourth at the Winnipeg racetrack, where the jockey's colony is pretty much all Caribbean as they fill the top 10 spots. Live racing at Assiniboia Downs will resume in May 2025. Finally, to a new market in England where the dominance of top trainer Aidan O'Brien in partnership with jockey Ryan Moore continued in Saturday's Jodmon Chibli Park Stakes. The undefeated Philly Lake Victoria, daughter of the legendary Frank Hill, who raced undefeated in 14 races from 2010 to 2012, showing real class here in the Chivley Park for two-year-old fillies under Moore in the blue and orange silks, taking charge where it matters most. Lake Victoria is kicked from the front and has found two lengths. Arabian Dusk, then Daylight, Selin died and Babouche. The market was strong. Lake Victoria back in trip, wins the Chivley Park. Lake Victoria winning like a 6-4 favourite should while stretching her unbeaten record to four races, two of them group one stakes wins. Lake Victoria by widening three lengths with Ryan Moore up for trainer Aidan O'Brien who gets a record-breaking fifth win in the Chapley Park Stakes, the Philly clocking 111.94 for the six furlong sprint. Our weekly tally of Caribbean wins in the USA and Canada now before we go. In the past week, since our last show, I've counted 6-2 victories. Among them, the Barbadian jockey Enrico Prescott with five wins at Centre Downs, including a Sunday four-timer. The Barbadian jockey Juan Crawford had three wins riding at Woodbine and Fort Erie. Jamaican Kiaman McGregor had three wins at Oregon's Grand Spas. And there was a stakes double for Orlando Foster at Lethbridge, where fellow Jamaicans Andre Powell and Blanford Stewart also scored stakes victories. We've been at the track, covering top stories and exciting races in the sport of kings. Check us out again next week.